Hello friends, welcome to my channel once again. Today I shall solve another problem from Fourier series. You can see we have one function fx which is given as fx is equal to minus k in the range of minus pi to 0 and it is plus k in the range of 0 to pi and we have one periodicity here that is x plus f x plus 2 pi is fx so first we have to sketch the graph of fx so let's draw the graph here well well this is x this is minus x this is 0 and this is fx now uh, let's uh, choose this color okay now see that fx is equal to minus k for minus pi to 0 so let's say this is minus k let's write it here this is minus k this value and this is minus pi this is minus pi now fx is equal to k for, for uh, 0 to pi Say this is uh, plus k this is plus, plus k and this is pi however the function is periodic and the periodicity is 2 pi so at pi I shall also get minus k value and this will be up to 2 pi again from 2 pi to 3 pi the value of fx will be k so I am getting like this so you can see that I am getting one step function with periodicity of 2 pi So this is the graph for fx. Now I have to obtain the Fourier series expansion expression uh, for the function. So let's see. So we know that fx uh, can be written as in Fourier series like this. Now here a0 would be equal to 1 by pi uh, so this is minus k uh, minus pi to 0 dx plus k 0 to pi uh, dx you can see this equation will uh, this integration will ultimately give 0 value in this a, so a0 will be 0 so you can see um, this will be kx and minus pi to 0 plus kx 0 to pi so the value you can check it will be 0 I am still doing it so when x is equal to 0 that kx will be 0 and next be minus minus of minus pi plus k pi that is equal to 0 
so a0 is 0 a n would be 1 by pi I can take k out of the integration and I can absorb the minus sign by switching the upper and lower limits so I can write here like this cos nx dx plus 0 to pi cos nx dx this integrations will all be will also be 0 you can check it so this is basically sin nx by n 0 to minus pi and sin nx by n 0 to pi you know that sin n pi and sin minus n pi all are 0 and sin 0 0 so this is 0 so an is 0 also now let's find bn so i am taking k out of the integration and by absorbing the negative sign i am switching the upper and lower limits here zero to pi sin nx dx so k by pi minus of cos nx divided by n zero to minus pi and this is again minus sign cos nx by n zero to pi so you can see that it would be uh, note cos minus n pi is cos n pi is equal to minus 1 whole to the power n so i can write it here minus 1 whole to the power n by n and then the function will be plus 1 by n cos 0 and this will be minus 1 whole to the power n by n plus 1 by n so ultimately i am getting 2k by pi uh, 1 minus minus 1 whole to the power n divided by n so this is the value for bn now i can write the function fx is equal to uh, a0 is 0 an is 0 so you can write it like this 2k by pi summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity 1 minus minus 1 whole to the power n by n um, sine of nx now you can see that this will produce so note that when is uh, when n is an odd number like 1 3 5 then this term will be 2 however if n is equal to an even number like n is equal to 2 4 uh, then this term will be 0 so for n is equal to even numbers we will not get nothing we will get nothing and for n is equal to an odd number we will get the terms so i can write it like this 2 sin x when n is equal to 1 then when n is equal to 3 i shall get 2 sin 3x by 3 plus 2 sin 5x by 5 plus 2 by 7 sin 7x and so on so finally i am getting 4 k y pi uh, sin x plus 1 by 3 sin 3x plus uh, 1 by 5 sin 5x plus 1 by 7 sin 7x and so on so this is the Fourier series expression for this function so hope you have understood that now we have to approach to the second problem we have to deduce this equation please note that now let's give it equation number one now let's choose x is equal to pi y 2 note that uh, 
when fx is k in this range so x is equal to k in this range so i can say that when we are choosing x equal to pi by 2 the value of fx will be k so from equation 1 i am getting k is equal to 4k by pi sin pi by 2 plus 1 by 3 sin 3 pi by 2 plus 1 by 5 sin 5 pi by 2 plus 1 by 7 sin 7 pi by 2 and so on. Note sin pi by 2 is 1 and sin 3 pi by 2 is minus 1 and sin 5 pi by 2 is plus 1 and then the second next term will be minus 1 sin 7 pi by 2 and so on. So if you cannot remember general solution or everything like that simply what you can do you draw that sign curve okay like this you draw the sign so for pi y2 you are getting plus 1 next is 3 pi y2 you are getting minus 1 this is pi this is 2 pi and this is 2 pi plus half pi that is 5 pi y2 and this will be 7 pi y2 and this is 9 pi y2 and so on so you can see that when you are getting minus 1 and when you are getting plus 1 by simply drawing the sine curve from this I can write that pi y4 is equal to 1 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 5 minus 1 by 7 and so on so I have to convert this series in a summation format so for that I can write summation n is equal to 1 to infinity minus 1 whole to the power n plus 1 so when n is 1 I am getting plus 1 and when n is equal to 2 then I am getting minus 1 and for that I have to write this like 2n minus 1 so finally we are getting that summation n is equal to 1 to infinity minus 1 whole to the power n plus 1 by 2n minus 1 is equal to pi by 4 and you can see that we have successfully deduced this equation also from this Fourier series expression of this step function hope you have understood the problem I have to get the graph for a step function given by this and I have to obtain the Fourier series for this function and finally I had to deduce this expression also so hope you have understood the problem and I uh, you have liked the tricks I have used if you have liked the video please don't forget to give a like and please share this video if possible and please also don't forget to subscribe my channel this will obviously boost my motivation moreover uh, I have already uploaded several videos on Fourier series you can check those videos from my channel and I have also uploaded several videos on complex analysis quantum mechanical problems uh, vector analysis XRD analysis um, electrochemical workstation data analysis data fitting many more things you can explore my channel and please subscribe my channel for that thanks a lot for watching this video